Question number one, a rectangle has been shaded in five different ways as shown. In which diagram does the shaded part have the largest area? So we will look at all the possible answers. Over here, I will cancel out A because the shaded area is exactly half of the entire rectangle. And now for B, for B, what I can do is I can break them into separate rectangles. So here I can have four separate rectangles and in each of these separate rectangles the shaded area is exactly half of each separate rectangle so I will also cancel out this answer and now for C similar to what I did just now I'll break them into separate rectangles also and so far all the shaded area is half of my separate rectangle Okay, so here I've bracked them into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I've splitted um, this rectangle to 10 smaller and also individual rectangles and the shaded area is exactly half of each separate rectangle. So I will cancel out this answer. And now we go to D. So for D, do what I did just now. And over here, I saw something. Okay, I'll draw this nicer. Over here, the first separate rectangle. This is the second one. The third one. And the last one. And in my first separate rectangle, I noticed that my shaded area is less than the individual rectangle. Okay, so my shade my shaded area is here. I have an extra white I have an extra white area there. My second rectangle is also the same. The shaded area is less than the individual rectangle. Because you can see this area is not shaded and it's more than the shaded area. The following rectangles, these two rectangles over here, the shaded area is exactly half of each individual rectangle. So this one, the shaded area is less than the individual rectangle. So I have to reject this answer because I'm interested in the shaded part have the largest area. So we are left with the answer E and if we don't believe this answer, we can separate them into individual rectangles also. Here, the shaded part is exactly half of the individual rectangle. Similarly, this also, this also happens. And over here, it is also exactly half. This one here, all is shaded, so I have an extra shaded part. Now the following rectangle, shaded area is also exactly half. Yes. Same goes to the next three individual rectangles. So the correct answer is E.